When I was a child, I loved to play different kinds of sports. At the age of 15, I decided to focus on volleyball. I played in a professional sport club for a few years. I knew that I needed a lot of water and other liquids while exercising and playing. The assistant coach used to hand to us players plenty of water bottles asking us to drink a lot. He knew that after a short time we would come back to him asking for more. In today's Gospel, Jesus said, Whoever drinks this water will get thirsty again. But anyone who drinks the water that I shall give will never be thirsty again. The water I shall give will turn into a spring inside him, welling up to eternal life. He pronounced these words to a Samaritan woman who came to a well where Jesus was resting. He had asked her to give him some water, but at the end he was the one who granted her water, a living water. Their dialogue is one of the most profound conversations in the New Testament. It was unheard of that a Jewish man could talk to a woman from Samaria, especially when she was unaccompanied by anyone and had a questionable reputation. Also, we need to remember that there was a long hostile relationship between Samaritans and Jewish people. One of the reasons was that the Samaritan community was not as orthodox in its belief as those who worshipped God in Jerusalem. During the encounter with the Lord, the woman experienced a real conversion of heart. As a result, she became his follower. Through this story, the Lord shows us that even non-Jewish are welcome to take part in his plan of salvation. No one is excluded. He has the power to grant forgiveness to repentant sinners and even make them his disciples. In about a month from now, churches around the world will be welcoming new members. Catechumens are being formed in small groups. Most of them used to be like the Samaritan woman. They too began their journey without any faith in Jesus. And now they are almost ready to accept from him the living waters of salvation. On Easter Vigil, thousands of others will receive sacraments of initiation. Our community has been always open to those who were not part of us, but would like to become Catholics. There are many modern Samaritans around us who desire the waters of baptism and a new life in the Holy Spirit. We as the Universal Church constantly pray that they will find God. It is important to note that the woman from today's Gospel not only became Jesus' follower, but she shared her experience of the Messiah with those she met in her hometown called Saika. St. John reported that many Samaritans of that town had believed in him on the strength of the woman's testimony. They said, we know that he really is the savior of the world. Brothers and sisters, we too are called to talk to others about our beautiful Christian faith. Christ wants us to share with enthusiasm his words from St. John's Gospel that appear in chapter 7. If any man is thirsty, let him come to me. Let the man come and drink who believes in me. As scripture says, from his breast shall flow fountains of living water. Each time when I read this text, I come back to my personal experience of God's love. Shortly before entering the seminary, a group of committed Catholics prayed over me asking for a new outpouring of the Holy Spirit in my life. During that prayer, something special happened. At that time, 
I couldn't explain it, but it was like a spring of water within me began to flow. A serene joy filled my heart. I have never experienced such a powerful presence of God's love flowing within me. After that prayer, I felt entirely changed. My desire to share God's love with others was so strong that I talked about it even with complete strangers on the streets of my hometown. That enthusiasm for God and His Church has never left me. My dear friends, let us be aware that through our baptism and our relationship with Jesus, we ourselves are fountains of that living water. Let us not waste the gift we have received, but share it with others. Let us allow the Holy Spirit to work through us and within us every single day. He grants us wisdom about how to share our faith and defend it if there is a need. May the waters of the Holy Spirit freely flow from our hearts and minds and transform with love our families, co-workers, neighbors, students, and the whole world.